students, today we're going to learn about conic sections. Ellipses! <laughs> the first problem will be... <laughs> <laughs> now I write on the board! <laughs> <laughs> That's where we stop. Because <laughs> I really don't know what the first problem is. Alright, this is fun. Third installment of Conic Sections. Woohoo! To your lips. Thank you, that was great. I wish more people. Woohoo! Sounds like it's a roller coaster. <laughs> but, like, not the first one. The first one would be like, ah! And the last one, like, when you're about to pull it, it's like, woohoo! Like, for the little baby who's crying. <laughs> One time when I was in 8th grade, <laughs> in King's Dominion, back in Pennsylvania, I put on the thing, you know, for the upside down roller coaster, Ooh. and like, you know, you put it on, it's safe. You go up and down, and everything, six loops, it was big at the time, oh my God. and then it was like, you know, it stops, oh. and then it goes real, it pulls back into the station, whatever, at the end. And I was like, you know, I can slide my head through these things. Oh, no. So I was like, uh, oh, no. <laughs> and I like slide out and like slid my shoulders through. And oh, I was basically God. sitting outside the thing oh, from behind. Oh. And then like, I'm like, I get out and I'm like, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> and they like turn white. They're like, <laughs> Funny memory. It's a fun okay. time memory. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Remember, remember the circle? <laughs> yeah, we do. <laughs> Here we go. It starts with the circle concept, all right? We have an x squared and a y squared. For the ellipse, x squared and y squared again. Based on what we know about the circle with the vertex, what's the vertex of this particular ellipse so far? Zero, zero. Zero, zero, zero. good, all right? And the ellipse, one big difference, is that it'll equal one, okay? So before, the circle had a radius squared here, now this equals one, and underneath, each of these are certain numbers that we're going to use. Okay? The certain numbers we'll use now, let's call this one 64. And let's call this one 49. Is there a reason why they're squared? There is a reason why they're squared, correct. Okay, so let's start this particular ellipse. Ellipse is basically an oval shape. Okay, so Using our astronomy reference before, we're going to talk about like elliptical orbits a little later. Um, let's do this. Graph coming. The center is zero, 0, so draw that and draw a point at zero, 0, please. And here's how it works. We look at the value under x, okay? Usually we call this a squared. All right, the value under x is a squared. Eight. And so what is the value of a? Eight. 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 Okay, the value of a is eight. And a is the value that we move left and right from the vertex because it's x. So since a squared is under x, we're going to move eight over here. What's this point? Eight. Eight. Zero. 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 Good. <clears throat> eight, zero. Clean it up, make it better. Eight, zero. What's this point over here? Negative eight, zero. Negative eight, zero. Okay. And this value underneath y squared is called b squared. Or b So b squared is 49. So b is seven. So b is seven. And where do you think we go with seven? Up, up and down. down. Up and down. So zero seven and zero negative seven. And this is our ellipse. Notice it's not a circle, it's an oval. It's an oval. So let's just draw it to the best of your ability. We're not looking for a Monet here. Okay. Right. So that's the ellipse. Any questions so far? Okay. Now the only difference in the next couple problems we'll do is that we'll start at a different point, but from that particular vertex, then we would go eight left and right, or and or seven up and down. All right, so that's the idea. So this is the basis for our ellipse. Now, an ellipse has a focus point, just like the parabola, except it's not one focus point; it's two, and that's called foci. 
Yeah, foci for plural. So, F O C I I means two focuses. Yeah, it sounds like Japanese, what's it called? Noki? Yeah, yeah. Noki. Yeah, so we're gonna solve for these, for the two focus points. Alright, so in, we're talking about elliptical orbits. If a planet or a comet or an asteroid or something has an elliptical orbit, it's actually not orbiting a center point per se. It's orbiting two imaginary points in gravity. Two imaginary points in space. Right? So these focal points are what we're going to solve for. Here's how it works.